A high-profile attorney now representing the former Honolulu police chief in his public corruption case says he's got his work cut out for him and his client insists he is innocent. Gary Montefiore filed paperwork with the court today making it official. He will be representing Louis K. Aloha, who along with his deputy prosecutor wife Catherine is being accused of serious criminal charges. The powerful couple was once represented by Miles Briner before Montefiore joined the picture. Bridget Namata follows up. Bridget? Joe, I spoke to Gary Modafferi by phone. He's based out of Las Vegas. Modafferi says he's met the Kealohas in the past, though there is no extensive relationship, but he says he's known Miles Briner for 30 years. And while he wouldn't comment specifically on the case, he did say a case of this magnitude needs another set of eyes. The charges in the 20 count indictment against the Kealohas include conspiracy, obstruction, false statements, and bank fraud. Behind the former police chief and his deputy prosecutor wife has been attorney Miles Briner. But Briner, Gary Modafferi says, needs help. It just means that an independent voice needs to look specifically at one client as opposed to looking at the two as a union. Once a deputy prosecutor in Honolulu, Modafferi now practices law in Nevada, but he's kept up with the case against the Kealohas. Louis Kealoha remains steadfast in his innocence. Do you feel like you've got a lot of work cut out for you? I, I do. I feel that way, and um, that's why I don't want to add to all of the pretrial publicity unnecessarily. Take a step back and just work the case. Montefiore is no stranger to high-profile cases. In 1988, he helped prosecute a San Diego man for the murder of Honolulu police officer Troy Barboza. Barboza was gunned down in his home by a man he arrested. At that time, it seemed like the entire island was gripped and riveted into how this young man died at the hands of, a, of an assassin. So now, this seems to be the high publicity case in Hawaii. With good reason, the allegations are quite serious. Gary Montefiore has been a lawyer based out of Las Vegas for years, but he still got his Hawaii license to practice law. If the case against the Kealohas goes to trial, he expects to be here on the islands for a while. Montefiore says it will be a full-time job. In this case, I anticipate some significant constitutional questions being raised by the government, and those constitutional issues will need to be addressed in a dispassionate and comprehensive manner. Mataferi is waiting for the next hearing date and says he'll be in Honolulu to represent Louis K. Aloha. I've also reached out to Miles Briner, who says he's teaming up with a superb trial attorney. Back to you, Joe.